Hello. Hello, hello. This is my first time going live, so I'm not totally sure um, how this will all work, but I'm just going to wait for people to get on. But if you're here, thank you for being here. Let me see. Oops. Let me turn that off. Is anybody here? All right. Okay. So I have my favorite wig on right now. This is my Highline Wigs wig that I got in 2021 that I had to get it refreshed um, a little bit ago, but I'm just gonna wait a little bit for people to kind of get on here. So if you have any questions or anything like that. I have my glass of wine. I don't actually drink that much, um, but I will have a glass of red wine every now and then. I'm not really a white wine, a white wine person, but I can do a sweet red every now and then. So I'm gonna take a sip. But I just wanted to kind of see what it was like going live and kind of show you guys this wig. And it's hard to show it completely um, on YouTube because if you make a formal video, it's a little bit different. But I, hopefully you can kind of see, even though this is just like a webcam, you can kind of see how it moves and how easy it is to wear. Um, okay, I got a question. Hello. What is your name? Coco? I think that's what it says. Hi, Coco. Um, so do you find the lace top itchy? I actually don't find it itchy at all. I have had a couple brands where I did find it itchy, and I'm not really sure why, um, but I did find a couple brands just a little bit itchy, and I think one of the wigs was a little bit too tight, so it was just kind of giving me an itchy feeling, but for the most part, and I'll show you right now, like this one right here, um, it's not itchy at all. I normally don't wear this wig with a wig grip, but I do have a wig grip underneath it, um, but it's not itchy in the slightest bit. And so I think lace has come a long way since they started making these types of wigs. So they're really great. And so um, I also did buy a cheap wig off Amazon, Amazon a few years ago, and I had a little bit of a rash and irritation. So that's kind of the only other time I've had an issue with the wig being itchy. But for the most part, no, no. Especially a wig. If you're going to pay um, this much money for a wig, you're not really going to have that many issues with it so it'll be um you, you're paying for what you get so you shouldn't have that problem but yep and this is like i said my highline wig and right now it's probably about probably the very very bottom piece is probably like 23 24 inches but the layers are probably closer to 22 21 but i did have to have this one fixed fixed, but more of like a refresh because I wore it for such a long time for about a year nonstop. And I talked about this on my Instagram, but I gave birth in this wig and I did everything in this wig. And so it wore it all day, probably 12 hours a day, sometimes 14 hours a day. And so it really just needed a refresh because the roots and really the overall color kind of started to fade a little bit. So I had to get these roots kind of added back in. I got a little bit of darker roots added back in and that's really helpful because it matches um, the only part of my hair of this, of this, that's actually my hair is right here, this dark hair. So it kind of matches the roots and that really helps it blend. But that's, um, that was super key and they added a little bit of darkness kind of throughout. So that's all I really did to this wig. I think it was less than $300 to kind of around there to kind of ship it back in, have them uh, cut it, um, fix the color, tone it, do all that stuff, and then send it back. So totally worth it. But let me look over here. Um, I kind of just wanted to show the wig and see if anyone had any questions. And I do want to start meeting weekly. And um, I'm not really sure. I know some people live kind of all over the country. There's people in Australia and Europe and I mean, all sorts of places. And so I know everyone's on a different time zone, so it can be really hard to find one time. Um, but I want to try to get 
one time or maybe even two times a week to where it's fun. It's a good time to get everyone to meet. I am a little bit on a limited schedule because of having a baby. And so I'm kind of on his schedule, but whenever he's not with me um, or he's sleeping, then I'm able to do something, but want to make sure that I find a time that works for everybody. Um, Dawn Best. Hi, Dawn. I recently had Sharon add really dark roots to my new Elaine topper to match my bio hair. Okay. If you don't know, Sharon is the, um, owner of Highline Wigs and she's amazing. Truly is amazing. And Elaine is a color that she has regularly. It's really beautiful. Um, I saw she just posted one on her stories today and it's, it's really beautiful. Um, but that's going to be really pretty. Yeah. Sharon's amazing. And she's probably one of the first companies that I kind of came across whenever I started into this journey. And I remember the word topper was so new to me because I had worn extensions for 13 years and I'd never heard of the word topper. So I was like, what is that? What is this Highline wigs having toppers? And I would see them on Instagram, I think was the first place. And they were pricey at the time and they're still pricey, but it was so much more than like the cheap extensions I was buying at the beauty store. And so it really took me a while to get convinced to buy one. That was back in 2018 towards um, probably like August, 2018. So I went to a local um, beauty store, wig store down the street and tried those wigs on. And it just was not for me, did not feel, not feel good at all for me. And so um, I actually bought a wig off wigs.com, which was not that great. And I was so self-conscious. I was so obsessed with the lace and I, asked my best friend constantly if it was noticeable and really didn't have the confidence. And it wasn't until I purchased one of Sharon's Highline wigs that it was, that was like a game changer for me and everything kind of totally changed. And so yeah, extensions for 10 years. Yeah. Extensions. And you know, if y'all remember, it started with Jessica Simpson came out with these extensions at Ulta. I remember it was these kind of full head extensions, but it wasn't really real hair. So you couldn't do anything with it. And so I used to buy hair, um, at a part of town at one of, um, there was some African shops. Cause I, I didn't like the hair at Sally's either. So I would go buy like wefts of hair and then sew clips onto it. And I did that for years, even when I, even when I shouldn't have been doing it because my hair was like curly and it would with the humidity in Texas it would my hair would shrink but the extensions would stay long so it really just wasn't a good look and so I'm so glad I found toppers and then ultimately wigs and now I'm just a wig girl for life so I'm going to show you guys this wig in a minute because I know on Instagram people are obsessed with this wig and this color and so am I um but this wig was, like I said, from Highline Wigs, and I got it in the summer, maybe July of 2021, and it started off as a dark brown root to a caramel ombre, and it actually wasn't quite as dark as this. It was a little bit lighter, um, but it was really long, and I uploaded a, um, a reel today on my Instagram, and it kind of shows what it looked like when I was pregnant, right when I got it, but um, like I said, over time, all of that, a lot of it faded, wore it out all the time. And so it is a little bit shorter now, but the wig is still the same. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. Um, I'm just going to lift up. That's what's great about wearing um, a wig grip is that it kind of comes up easily just like that. And if I had the clips um, pulled in, which I do um, actually on this wig, I'm only wearing the wig grip just for this video to, to maybe show a different wig. but. Um, it takes a little bit more time to get the clips out just because you want to make sure because if I have hair, so I don't want to like pull, sorry, it's thundering guys. <laughs> um, you don't want to pull the hair, but this is like such an easy way to kind of like lift it up and go. Let me see. There's a question real quick. I just found Highline wigs because of your videos currently wearing synthetic wigs for five years now, but want more realistic with the part. I think I'm going to take a leap. So, you know, synthetic wigs like have come a long way too. And there are some great synthetics and some people are really happy with synthetics. And so I don't want to, you know, knock down synthetics completely. Um, but there is just kind of a little bit of a quality difference on some of them, even in within synthetics, there are ones that are not as realistic and they're ones that are looking real realistic. But I did used to have a bunch of synthetic wigs that were crazy colors and I would wear them for all sorts of events, but the jump from synthetic hair to real hair is 
is definitely a big leap, but I would say do it. Um, just make sure, you know, you measure your head. And if you go with a reputable company, I, you should be fine. Um, but anyway, here is the wig right here. And it's so beautiful. So when people ask me the color, like I said, it started off as a dark brown to caramel ombre. Really, it, the color that I love, which is the first topper, uh, one of the first toppers I got from her, which was, uh, was a Lexi with a dark root. And I'm begging her to bring back that color. It's similar to this, um, maybe even slightly darker with the dark root, but I just love that color and it's so flattering. But right now, because they kind of fixed the root and added some warmth, it's not a set color, um, but it's probably closest to the Lexi with a dark root. But this is my favorite cap and I've showed this before, but it does have a lace top. And sometimes when people get it, they wonder, you know, why the inside of their lace might look orange. And on that part, that's where they've bleached it. So that just means those knots were bleached like on the inside. And so that's kind of what that is. But the lace part right here, that kind of U shape is where you can part it. So you can move it kind of all the way from here to here. You can't really do a side part like a really deep part over just because of the way the wig is constructed. And not all wigs have um, these little harder ear tabs or clips. Personally, I love those. I know some women who don't like those, but for me, I just like the little bit of structure. Um, you could still have a wig with ear tabs and take these clips off, but I just, I love both. Um, like sometimes I wear the clips, sometimes I don't. It really varies. And I actually have one of my straps broken on my elastable elastic strap so ignore that but this right here the back all right there is wefting and what that means is that um the hair is sewn onto strips of fabric like wefts and then it's put onto here kind of like in layers and i personally love a wefted back so this is what we mean a lace top and then the, the back or the rest of it is wefted personally for me that gives like a flatter and for most people it gives a flatter fit on the head I really like that. Some people do like more lift and more volume and um, everyone has their personal preference. And those type of wigs typically are a full lace wig. So you will have a wig with lace kind of all around. And so those wigs definitely have more volume and can be a little more poofy for people who like that. But um, this one doesn't have a comb on it at the very bottom that you can, when you can kind of put the comb under your hair. Again, if you don't have hair, you wouldn't need to use the comb. Um, it has adjustable straps. And like I said, one of mine broke, but um, oddly enough, I was just thinking about you the other day, wondering where you went. Then today I got a notification. Yeah. So life has been crazy. Um, you know, I have an 18 month old son, so he's walking and he's you know, in that stage where he's into everything, but he's so sweet. He's the biggest helper. Like, I mean, he's, I'll have, if you're on Instagram, maybe you can see some videos, but he loves to empty the dishwasher. He loves to help me with the clothes. He, he loves to be where I am, but he loves to help and do stuff. So he's so sweet, but that really has been my focus. Um, it's just being a mom. And so that's really where I've been, but I definitely have missed doing hair stuff. It's really hard to just find time for you and then find time because right now, you know, free time is like, Oh, I get a shower by myself or I get to go run an errand by myself and that, and that's not really like, you know, quality time for yourself. So I really have wanted to get back into doing videos and hair stuff and all that, but it has been really hard. Um, but I am definitely here now what wig companies would you say is the best overall wig so i get this question a lot and um i'm gonna go ahead and put on my new wig while, while i answer this well and i have not cut the lace yet um that question is really hard to answer because there's not just um one company there like i've tried on so many wigs and so many toppers and so it's, it is really hard to say um Totally different wig here, and the lace is not cut. Um, this just gives a different vibe. I'll talk about it in a minute, but I would say Highline Wigs for sure has great wigs. Um, also, Wigs by Tiffany has great wigs. Those two are pretty comparable. They both kind of have the same style of top, which is lace top wefted back. So if you love that style, that's a great one. Um, 
and also Madison wigs. I had a lot of her toppers and a couple of her wigs and she just has a different style of cap. So her style of cap is a silk top transition to a lace front. So if you really like that style, I would say go for that. Um, I did have a lace top, uh, sorry, a silk top lace front from McKenna wigs before and that was a really nice one as well. I did try on a lace top topper from Dejaco. It's spelled D-E-J-A-C-O and I loved that topper. I just, it just did not fit great on my head, but if that lace topper, it was anything like her wigs and it's absolutely amazing. Um, and then Folia is definitely a high-end one. I still love Folia. Folia's cap is a lace top wefted back, but it is more structured and it doesn't come away from the face as much like this. It kind of falls down more. So I think if you, if you like a wig that kind of falls down more in your face and is more heavy and weighted, then I would say that's probably best for you. But their um, cap construction is really great. So I think I'm, I'm forgetting some... Those are more of like on the high end side, I'm trying to think, but if you're gonna spend money. Um, but anyway, this right here is a, it is a Highline Wigs wig and um, it's totally different. So I haven't styled it or anything. This is kind of how it came out of the box. So if you ever get a wig and it looks like this out of the box, that's actually normal because I haven't sprayed it with water or trained it or anything. So I probably wouldn't style it quite like this. Um, but right now it is that way just because of the fact that it was sitting in a box and it hasn't been formed to my head or anything. And as you can tell, the lace is still there. So this wig is from Highline Wigs and I got it because I loved the length of it and it is totally different than the color I would normally go for. It is more of a, the, the color is mousse. It's an ash mousse and to be honest, I don't think it flatters me that well, and it's okay to say that, but I probably would add the tiniest bit of roots in it, But and I know the webcam isn't picking it up perfectly, but it does have a flawless hairline, and I will kind of show you right here a little bit of the hairline, what I'm talking about. Um, so it does have bleach knots. And the lace is not cut, like I said. And it's going to look a little funky since nothing's cut yet. So that's. But super natural and really easy to kind of move around. Um, honestly, I think I would probably, if I actually keep this wig, I probably would do a side part and move it over because I kind of like this vibe. This like I like a middle part on my other one, but I kind of like this side part kind of moving over on this one. I think that probably is the most flattering. Um, but this is probably, I think this is 16 inches, I wanna say, about 16 inches. And I'll let you see the back. It's kind of, it's got a lot of movement, um, but definitely real hair. And I would say that this density is normal. Um, so it's a good amount of hair, but it does, you don't feel like weight on your shoulders or anything like that. Um, and if I, when I do move the part, or if I'm going to, I would just spray it um, with water, a significant amount of water, part it, and then I may kind of pin it down a little bit and um, blow dry it over. And it may take a while to do that, but um, this is the, the ash mousse, like I said. And she does um, carry the mousse color actually all the time. Mousse is one of her colors that she just carries all the time. And the ash mousse is just an ashier version of that. But I do really like this wig. I'm still. Definitely not feeling a side part. <laughs> I think I like more of this, but let's see. Oh, thank you guys. Lovely Lisa Warrior Queen and Dawn. Thank you. Um, yeah, it really is a beautiful piece and it would be great for being a mom just to have something a little bit shorter, you know? Um, but this one, let's see, what else? I think I can show you the inside of the cap. Um, pretty much the same construction, like I said, because it's the same company as the other, the first one I wore. But um, the one thing I will say is it's a little bit narrower. Um, so I will say it, it feels um, a little bit narrower temple to temple than the other one. And honestly, that is really common with wigs. You'll see, um, I know sometimes they'll, their caps will slightly 
vary or they'll make minor tweaks, but sometimes the, the cap sizes, um, sometimes they carry small to medium and then there's just a medium. And I have noticed a difference is even between the same company and I can still wear it. I would probably just cut it back a little more, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the part line. Now, this is something that people have asked me about because the part line on this one actually is not bleached. So the knots are not bleached, but honestly, you don't need to bleach the part line. Um, the part the part line is not really where the concern is. It's more of the immediate um, hairline. But even if the part line is not completely bleached, that part is super easy to cover with like concealer or a powder, but it's the front part that is much harder to conceal. So just keep that in mind that even some of the best companies don't fully bleach like the very top part. It's But um, the front part is what I would say is what needs to be done. But a uh, standard cap, this one, hers don't have combs, but they do have, you know, like adjustable straps. So yeah, this one's great. And she does have like some more of these. And another thing about Highline Wigs, um, so if you don't know, she does have a lady, or I think it's someone that works there. Her name is Raquel, R-A-Q-U-E-L. And Ra Raquel has a um, YouTube or uh, what's it called an Instagram page and she actually posts wigs for sale too and you can request a certain color so if you like this particular mousse color um, ashy mousse color you can message her and say hey do you have any of these maybe in this length and she can get that for you so that is always an option do I find wearing a wig hot in the summer heat I mean I live in Texas so Yes, but that's because like it's always hot here, like no matter no matter what you're wearing or what's going on. Um, but I would say that with human hair wigs, I am so used to it that it doesn't even phase me. And so honestly, no, like like it's going to be warm, a little bit warm, but if you're already in a place that's hot, it's not really gonna be that big of a difference. Um, I'm gonna put on my wigs by Tiffany one that I have been wearing my brunette one. I'm actually going to, let me see, I'm going to fix this real quick and put this in a lower, tighter ponytail. Um, but I mean, it may feel weird at first or it may feel really hot at first, but you get used to it. Um, so this is my Wigs by Tiffany wig in the shade Debbie. And Debbie is darker. I'm going to give her a brush real quick. But um, Debbie is from Wigs by Tiffany and this is a really great option because she carries this color constantly so it's not like a one and done color it's she has the she sells the color debbie every week and it's darkest chocolate it's like the darkest of chocolate brown you could be it's not really a 1b 1b doesn't have like you can kind of well, you probably can't see through the webcam but there is more of a warmer undertone to it when you go in the sun but a 1b doesn't always have that a 1b is just you know, that closest thing to off black, but this is just like the kind of right under that, like the darkest of darkest of chocolate browns. Um, but it honestly can come off like black in certain lighting, but this particular wig is 27 inches and I've been loving long length. This other, this first wig I was wearing, um, the one that everyone's obsessed with from Highline, this actually was 26, 27 inches when I bought it. And then, you know, when I had to give it a refresh, cause I had worn the heck out of it. Um, I had cut a couple inches off, so it's not that length anymore. And that's kind of a normal thing to do after a year, year and a half, is to just give a little tweak. But um, this Debbie one is 27 inches, so super long. And the only really difference is, I mean, as you can see, this is why I said Highline and Wigs by Tiffany are comparable, is it's pretty much standard the same. Um, Wigs by Tiffany's does have a comb at the bottom, but if you don't like the comb, you can take that out. And if you do like the comb, you can keep it in. Um, I um, always wear a wig grip with this one. And I think it's just so easy on, easy off. And this has been the one that um, I wear most during the day right now. I'll probably actually switch to the lighter now that it's almost summer, but because sometimes I'll like run an air and come back, run an air and do whatever, I'll take it off sometimes when I'm here and I'll throw it back on and it's just easier to do when I have a wig grip one. Um, but I'll go ahead and just put this one on for you guys. Okay. And then I actually will put the comb in, flip it back. Um, this is a big no, no. You want to make sure some people, their wigs are, um, too low on their forehead. 
and sometimes they're too far back. Um, this one does make me look more pale because it's so dark. So I do look a little bit more pale. Oh, wow. Um, so this is the Debbie color and let me see if you can see. She's like down past my chest area, kind of like towards the bottom rib, but really beautiful color. I'll show you the hairline in a second. Can you suggest a wig or topper that would have the most natural part? I don't like where you can see the silk to lace. So yeah, I would say any of the ones that I mentioned, um, so like Highline with by Tiffany Dayako, which is spelled Dejako, um, Folia. There, there are some other companies um, that have wigs like in this style. I just haven't used them. Um, and so I'm not, I'm not going to recommend them. Um, but if you don't like the silk to lace transitions, those are ones that are pretty. Um, and there are some companies which I follow which have beautiful hair. But like I said, they, ha they have the full lace wigs. And for me, I just don't like that style. So I don't recommend it personally just because I don't wear it. But like I think stacked hair and bijou wigs, B-I-J-O-U-X, they have more um, – it's a fuller to the head. It's a lace wig. I purchased a lace top wig from Uniwigs. It was a final sale, so I cannot send it back. The lace puckers, ruffles on my forehead. Have you ever used glue? And if so, what type? And how do you remove it? Um, I have used glue. So I would recommend, and there are some videos on YouTube, but there's got to be glued spray. And I've that actually worked better than the actual glue because they have the actual gel, which can be a little messy but the actual spray you can lift your wig back and um spray it and you want to make sure it is super tacky first before you set your wig down and then once you'd sprayed it down you'd want to like push right here um you'd want to push down on the lace to make sure it stayed and um you can use some i think it's rubbing alcohol is that what i've used something to kind of um move it to kind of get it out. You can use a little Q-tip. Sometimes people use like water and a little rubbing alcohol will like get it off after every time. But um, glue can seem scary, but um, it's not. I typically, you know, don't use glue just because I have bio hair underneath and it sits flat. But if you do need to use glue, um, that is a pretty easy way to do it. So um, I'll go ahead and show you the which I know is hard to see with this cam, but it has a really great hairline. And it's really undetectable um, in person. And so, and another thing, like the part, I have not put any makeup or anything like that on the part. And, you know, some people really obsess over the part, but I don't. Um, I've just kind of realized over the last few years, no one's looking right there really. But here is where um, I really focus in this wig. I mean, once you buy it, um, you don't have to do anything to it. You can just kind of throw it on and go. And that is kind of the difference between these type of wigs and maybe some other wigs. I do have a wig that is almost full lace, but the color is so blonde and it would require me, like for me to wear it, I would have to do a lot of work to kind of put it on and glue it and wear lots different caps underneath to kind of make sure sure my hair is flat so it can be a little bit time consuming so it's not that it's not worth it but it just depends on the type of wig that you want but um i'll go ahead and brush it out but like i said wigs by tiffany sells this wig regularly in different sizes and different lengths and so if you are interested um she's post wigs for sale i think two times a week maybe even three but um, you could check there and see. But I really do love this wig. I will sell it eventually because I sell all wigs. And so I always exchange them out. Like bring, if I'm bringing something in, I need to, you know, take something out. So, but any other questions? Does anybody have any questions about this wig? Not totally sure who's on. This is, this is my first um, live, and I know there's not many people, but that's okay. 
Um, it was kind of last minute. And so I did, I do have a couple more formal videos coming out with which my camera, which I finally got set up. Um, but I, I had to use my iPhone for my last video and that was really not the best. So thankfully I'll have my actual camera up and some lighting and some good stuff. How do you wash it? So in the sink, um, and you don't wash, um, silk. So, you know, I used to wear silk top toppers and silk top is really durable. Like, um, you know, silk top just by itself. Cause there's no lace on it at all. And it is really durable. You don't have to be as worried about putting it under the, under, you know, um, a sink full of water or anything like that, because there's no lace. You definitely don't want to put conditioner on the scalp or anywhere near the scalp. I kind of stay about six inches away from the scalp, um, with conditioner because you don't want to get it on there because it could loosen some of the strands and make it come out of this, of the cap. And that's kind of the last thing you want to do, but it is, you do it in the sink and I can show it sometime, but, um, you would want a sink full of kind of, you know, not hot and not cold water, kind of lukewarm water. And with the lace wigs, you would hold it the whole time and kind of dunk. And I think I go through maybe like 10 sink bowls of water. And if you have a little handheld thing, that's great too. But what I don't do is just like push it down and like submerge it in there. Um, definitely don't do that because um, you always want to have your hand on it. But you can, you know, get shampoo. So while you don't want to put conditioner on the scalp, you can put shampoo. So you can put shampoo on the underside right here. I forgot I had other wigs over here. <laughs> so you would like hold it right here and like kind of dunk it in the sink and you would put shampoo, but you kind of want to have your hand on it. And but so, like I said, you can put shampoo all over the scalp and on the inside of it, especially if you get kind of like any makeup buildup, but you definitely don't um, want to do that with conditioner. Conditioner, I kind of put on the bottom, kind of just dunk it. And you want to make sure it's thoroughly, thoroughly um, cleared out and cleaned out before you take it out. And so um, any tips on how to make the wig part look more natural? Um, Jessica, with what part of it? Um, so if you, like I said, you can put makeup on it. Um, you can put, I would recommend like a powder that's close to your skin, not a contour or bronzer powder, but one that's actually close to your skin tone and a tiny, tiny, um, brush, probably like a, you know, a little under eye brush and you could put it in here into the um, that part and it can make it brighter. If, if that's your issue, if you feel like you could see the knots, that's one way to do it. You can also pluck the hairline and you want to be really careful to not pull, you know, the lace, but you can pluck with tweezers. I would do it while it was on a wig stand, like a wig head, and you could, um, tweeze some of the hairline to make it a little bit more natural. Um, and another thing I've done is I actually, some, some hairs have um, return hairs. Well, actually, most wigs have return hairs, and it's where the hair is kind of like attached through the wig, and you'll see little short pieces come up. On some of my wigs, I've actually completely cut those off. Um, you can try to tame those, but I've gone down to the very root and just um, cut them off, and not everyone does that. They don't recommend to do that, but I feel comfortable doing that, so I've done that. But I would say um, concealer or like a skin powder and plucking, um, also you could put scar tape. So there's something on Amazon that you can buy and it looks like flesh. It's kind of like scar tape. It's what you use over scars and you would put it on the inside, like right here. Um, you, you know, you'd cut like a little strip off of it and you would put it on the inside, like wherever you part it. And so, um, it would kind of brighten up or, or make the part look like your natural scalp color. So I would say those through three things would probably be the easiest way. Did you ever do anything with your super blonde hair mama? I haven't. Um, that wig is just not as flattering on me. Um, the, the color, it's just like super blonde and um, not as flattering on me. The hairline is like great. It's a really beautiful piece, but it just doesn't look, it looks like um, whatever that person was from Game of Thrones, which I don't watch that show, but I just it, like, I've seen pictures and it looks kind of similar to whatever her hair looks like. Um, what do you do with your wig that's on their last leg worn out? One of my wigs, the cap is worn and the lace front is getting frayed. I just hate to throw it in the gar garbage. So hmm. 
if you're wanting to keep it, um, there's a resale group. And if you're looking to buy a wig, there is a resale group on Facebook called Hair Loss Sisters Unite or something like that. I would, if you want to, if you want to make some money off of it, there's always people who are willing to buy, um, you know, lower cost wigs that have been pre-loved and like varying stages of wear. So that's one option. But also I know some places you can send in your wigs back to kind of fix the late, the front of the lace. So they, or, or they could refresh the hair. They could do both. And I think it's probably more expensive to kind of refresh the lace and kind of fix that. But, um, I, Bread that some people use, it's not nail polish. It's something that they kind of put on the lace to kind of fix it. Um, but there, there's are, are a couple options. I would say um, it's hard because none of a lot of these places are not local, so you can't just like go down the street and say, "Hey, can you do this?" Um, so it can be scary just kind of shipping it off to someone, just you know, trusting that they would you know, do it properly. And so I totally get that, but none of my wigs have, I, I did have one wig where it got to the point where the hair was a little bit thinning and, um, a little bit not falling out. It was just shedding a little bit more than normal. And there was a tiny little piece on the hairline that was torn. I wore it constantly for about six months, but then it was still in great condition. And so I just sold that wig for cheaper. Um, and of course somebody else could probably get another like year, maybe even year and a half out of it, but they were that way they could be introduced to a, you know, a pretty nice human hair wig that needed more work, but just, um, didn't have to pay an arm and a leg for it. So, so yeah, I'm going to actually go back to my first wig because, um, see, I love this wig, but I just feel, um, it does. I do look more pale <laughs> and I love this wig for a really long time for the last nine months, but I think because it's, you know, summer's here, I think I'm just kind of feeling that color. And actually, you know what, let me show you the comparison between these two colors. So here is Debbie by Wigs by Tiffany, and here is the Moose color. So you can kind of see the difference there. The, you know, very dark, and this is kind of like a medium mousy shade of brown, and this is a dark chocolate shade of brown. So you can kind of see the differences there. Um, I know it can be hard to see online, but um, and then this one right here. See, I've been wearing this one for a couple years and the um, strap broke, so. All right, see, I just feel better in this. Um, you love the mousse color. Yeah, the mousse color is great. Um, I've never tried the regular mousse color. Um, she does, like I said, does have the regular mousse color, but I just haven't tried that one. So I just assume it's a little bit warmer in color. I was anticipating that one to be actually a little bit darker than it was. So it actually came in a little bit lighter than what I thought, but, um, I might sell it. I'm not, I'm not totally sure. Um, But yeah, love this wig. I, I wish she would make like 50 pieces of, of this color in this wig. I just think it's a really pretty bronze wig for summer and flattering for a lot of people. But anyway, I'm probably gonna stay on for a couple more minutes. And if anyone has any other questions. Um, and another thing, I still haven't washed this since they, since it was shipped back to me. So, um, I probably haven't washed it in a couple months. And so that's a really great thing about when you get these wigs. And I know that may sound disgusting, but it actually isn't, um, because you don't, they don't get a buildup of oil since it's not actually on a scalp. So it's not quite the same. Um, I do wash mine more. So, you know, I live in a part of Texas where it's super windy and there's kind of deserty. And so whenever, it's windy, it gets a lot of dirt and dust in it and you can like see it and the air or sky will be really dark. So that's kind of how I know I need to wash it. But yeah, honestly, the, the less you wash the wig, the better it will be off. So yeah. I am drinking, what am I drinking? It's Lano, I think it's a Texas wine, but it's a sweet red and it's pretty good. I'm just craving some salsa and queso from Chewy's. 
because they just put one here. That's like the big, the big restaurant they got here, Chewy's. So, but anyway, I think I'm going to sign off. Thank you guys for staying with me. I know there's not many people on, but I'm going to try to make this a more regular thing. Um, I just kind of wanted to show the three wigs, those three wigs right now. This one I probably will be wearing a lot more. Um, this darker wigs by Tiffany is in my rotation. I love it. I probably will be selling that. I will be selling it within the next six months. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys listening and just hanging out and talking. And I hope you have a great night. And if you do have any questions, um, you can always feel free to reach out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.